British Challenger 2 main battle tanks could be heading to Ukraine to help its forces in their defense. It would mean Russia would be fighting an undefeated platform, not once has the Challenger 2 been destroyed at the hands of an enemy. The tank has a glistening service record in Bosnia, Kosovo and Iraq. It's unclear how many the UK might send if it chooses to do so. 148 Challenger 2s are currently being upgraded to Challenger 3s, with the remaining 79 vehicles from the fleet set for retirement. Training on UK Challenger 2 tanks for Ukrainian soldiers is continuing at pace in the southwest of England, after the UK committed to provide 14 vehicles and accompanying ammunition to support Ukraine's defense. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace visited the training site today to meet the UK trainers and Ukrainian soldiers. Lasting for several weeks, the program sees experienced Ukrainian soldiers learn how to effectively operate the tanks in combat conditions. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said. It is hugely inspiring to come and witness Ukrainian soldiers being trained on British Challenger 2 tanks. Their resilience and determination to succeed for the liberation of their country sends a powerful message to Russia. Ukrainians will continue to fight, and the UK, alongside our allies will not falter. We will continue to provide the capabilities needed to support Ukraine for as long as it takes. President Putin's speech yesterday demonstrated just how dangerous to our security Russia has become. The Challenger 2 main battle tank was developed as a private venture to replace the previous Chieftain MVT in service with British Army. It is a further development of the Challenger MVT. The new main battle tank is significantly more capable than its predecessor. It entered service with the British Army in 1994. Currently the Challenger 2 is in service with United Kingdom, 386, and Oman, 38. Recently a couple of proposed modernization programs for the Challenger 2 tanks were proposed. However due to budget cuts British Army could completely retire its Challenger 2 fleet in the near future. It is one of the most protected tanks in the world. This main battle tank provides a very high level of protection against direct fire weapons. The Challenger 2 uses Chobham composite armor of second generation. It is lighter than the original Chobham, but offers better protection. Tank's turret was redesigned. Explosive reactive armor kit can be fitted for improved protection. The Challenger 2 is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. This MBT can be also be fitted with VIRSSS, visual and infrared smoke screening system. The tank is fitted with a new L30E4 120mm rifled gun. It is capable of firing a wide variety of standard NATO 120mm tank munitions. This gun is loaded manually. The effective range of fire with armor-piercing round is over 3,000 meters. The Challenger gun claims the longest distance tank kill in history. During the Gulf War it defeated an Iraqi tank at a range of 4 kilometers. Secondary armament consists of two 7.62 mm machine guns. One of them is coaxially mounted with the main gun, while the other is placed on top of the roof. Challenger 2 is fitted with a new fire control system. Some of its components are similar to the US M1A1 Abrams and French Leclerc MBTs. Its fire control system has a high hit probability against stationary and moving targets. This main battle tank has a battle management system similar to that used on the M1A1 Abrams. Furthermore British tanks can interchange information with US tanks. Vehicle has a crew of four, including commander, gunned, loader and driver. The Challenger 2 is powered by a Perkins CV-12 TCA turbocharged diesel engine, similar to that on the Challenger 1. This engine develops 1,200 horsepower. Though comparable Western MBTs the M1A2 Abrams and Leopard 2A5 have more powerful engines, developing 1,500 horsepower. The Challenger is famous for its mechanical reliability. Suspension has been improved, particularly a hydraulic track pre-tensioner was added. The Challenger used a hydropneumatic suspension instead of the previous Horstman-type suspension of the Challenger 1. Despite an increase in weight the Challenger 2 has similar cross-country performance to the previous vehicle. 
Additional fuel tanks can be mounted at the rear of the hull for extended operational range. It can also be fitted with a dozer blade. It is worth mentioning that all Challenger 1 MBTs can be upgraded to the Challenger 2 standard. Challenger 3 main battle tank was first unveiled in 2021. It is based on the modified hull of the Challenger 2. The tank is fitted with new turret and is armed with a new 120mm Smoothbore gun. Engine and suspension were upgraded. The new Smoothbore gun can use the most advanced globally available ammunition. Protection has been improved. Overall the upgraded Challenger 3 is deadlier and better protected than the Challenger 2. A contract was signed to produce 148 of these new MBTs for the British Army. Initial operating capability is expected by 2027, and full operating capability is expected by 2030. This will allow to extend service lives of the Challenger 2 hulls up until 2040 and beyond. The UK was the first country to provide Ukraine with modern Western main battle tanks and paved the way for other countries to donate their own vehicles. Support to Ukraine from the international community has been unwavering since Russia's full-scale invasion nearly a year ago, on 24 February 2022. The UK has equipped the armed forces of Ukraine with a range of capabilities to help them defend their territory, including anti-tank weapons, armored vehicles and air defenses. This visit comes after Prime Minister Rishi Sunak extended the UK military training offer to Ukraine to include pilots and marines. The training of Ukrainian soldiers, alongside the gifting of equipment, has been vital to Ukraine's defense, ensuring that the armed forces of Ukraine have the knowledge and capabilities they need to repel Russia's illegal and ruthless invasion.